Good morning! Um, we are now in week 5, uh, lesson 5, part 1 of word problems involving sequences. We have here two examples of word problems. What type of sequence is presented in number 1? Janet started savings 50 pesos on October 1. Increasing the amount by 10% per day. How much will she have in all on October 7? So, is it arithmetic or geometry? Okay, so as you can see, the initial amount is 50 pesos on October 1. And then, you are going to identify how much will she have in all. So, the total amount of savings from October 1 to October 7. So here, the, the another given is increasing the amount by 10%. So as you can see, uh, the amount is increases per day uh, of 10%. So the increase is 10% per day. So the initial amount plus 10% equals the second amount. Then the second amount Again, times the increase of 10% will be the third amount. And so on, until you reach October 7. So, this is an example of geometric sequence. Okay? So, next number two. Your mother say 400 pesos on the first uh, day, 900 on the second day, and 1,400 eh, on the third day. If the pattern continues, how much did your mother save on the seventh day? So, as you notice, the initial amount is 400 pesos. Then, for the second day, it becomes 900. So, what pattern uh, is needed to obtain 900 pesos? You are correct. So, you're going to add 500 from 400 pesos. So, 900 plus 500 is 1,400. So, therefore, the pattern is adding 500 from the previous term to get the succeeding term. So, therefore, this pattern is what we call the common difference. And if there's common difference, this is an example of arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let us discuss first number 1. So, for number 1, starting from 50, then um, increases by 10%. So, meaning, you're going to multiply 50 by 0.10. So, 50 times 0.10, using your calculator, that will be 5 pesos. Plus, yung initial amount, which is 50. So, 5 plus 50 is equal to 55. And then, yung 55, you're going again to multiply it by 10% or 0.10. That is 5.5. Then, 5.5 plus yung 55, that is equivalent to 60.5. Then, 60.5 times again 0.10, that is equivalent to 6.5. 0, 0.5 plus 60.5 which is equivalent to 66.55 and so on and so forth until you reach October 7. Okay? So, and then, uh, the geometric series is just uh, adding all of the terms from October 1 to October 7. So, therefore, the total savings from October 1 to October 7 is 474.35855 The total savings rounded to the nearest peso is 474 pesos. Next, for number 2, since this is an example of arithmetic sequence, so, here you are going to identify the 7th term or what is the amount on the 7th day. Okay, so, since we all know that the pattern is 500, so 1,400 plus 500 is 1,900 plus 500 equals 2,400 
plus 500 equals 2,900. Plus 500 equals 3,400. Hence, the amount of savings on the 7th day is equivalent to 3,400 pesos. Question? Okay, let us continue. So, let us go back to problem number one. Uh, we're in this an example of geometric sequence. Now, aside from listing all the terms of the given geometric uh, sequence, uh, all you have to do is to identify first all the known values. So, the first known value is the first term represented by A sub 1, and that is equivalent to 50 pesos on D. Then, the given rate of increase is 10%. Um, since uh, it is represented in percent, we're going to change this in decimal form. And that is equivalent to 0.10. So, just simply move um, the decimal point uh, two places to the left. And then, uh, to find the common ratio, the formula is 1 plus rate of increase. So, when we say 1, this is equivalent to the initial amount, which is equivalent to 100%. In whole number, 100% is equivalent to 1. Then, yung rate of increase natin, which is 0.10. So, common ratio R is equal to 1 plus 0.10. So, 1 plus 0.10 is equivalent to 1.10. So, this is now our common ratio. Now, since the type of sequence is geometric sequence, uh, what is the formula to be used? Correct. So, the formula to be used, since we're looking for the sum from October 1 to October 7, so this will be S sub N equals A sub 1 times the quantity of A sub 1 uh, uh, S sub N equals A sub 1 times the quantity of R raised to N minus 1 all over R minus 1. And then, you're going to substitute. So, ang N natin dito is 7. So, from October 1 to October 7. So, S sub 7. And then, yung A sub 1 natin, 50. Ang R natin now is 1.10. So, N is 7. Okay? And then, using scientific calculator, um, this is downloaded in your Play Store. Just type scientific calculator in the Play Store, and then choose Free Scientific Calculator Plus. Okay, and then uh, in order to uh, encode this, you're going to press first uh, this uh, key. Uh, this is a uh, button for fraction, where in there's numerator and denominator. Then another one to be considered is uh, the key x raised to a uh, number. Okay, so in order to use the superscript or a base raised to a given exponent. So therefore, if we're going to encode this to key in in our calculator, so this will be the resulting answer is 474.35855. Then round it to the nearest full number or to the nearest peso that is equivalent to 474 pesos. Question? Okay, let us continue. Number two, your mother say 400 pesos on the first day, 900 on the second day, and 1,400 on the third day. If the pattern continues, how much did your mother save on the seventh day? Again, if you're going to add, uh, uh, adding 500 from the previous term, so 400 plus 500, 100, 900 plus 500, 14, 1, 14 plus 500 is 19, 1, 19 plus 500 is 2,400, 2,400 plus 500 is 2,900, plus 500 is that is 3,400. So therefore, this is the total amount of savings. This is the amount of savings on the seven. Okay? Now, uh, another way is using formula. So since we're looking for the seventh term or 
the amount on the seventh day. So we're going to identify first if there is a common difference. So adding, uh, subtracting from right to left. So 1,400 minus 900, that will be 500 pesos. And then 900 minus 400, that is also 500 pesos. So since there is a common difference, so our given here is common difference, D equals 500. And since the initial amount, uh, that will be a sub 1 equals 400. So the type of sequence is arithmetic. So we're going to use the formula A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 minus D. Then we're going to apply this formula. So A sub N equals A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. So we have here A sub 7. So since from October 1 to October 7, we have 7 days or 7 birds. So therefore, N is 7. Then yung A sub 1 natin is 400. So N is 7. Common difference is 500. 7 minus 1 is 6. Then 6 times 500, that will be 3,000. 3,000 plus 400, that is 3,400. So, the amount of savings on the 7th day is 3,400. Okay? So, that's all. So, next time I will upload another uh, example of problems involving arithmetic and arithmetic. For now, bye-bye. Uh, Thank you for watching.